हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन दिस संदीप एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू वीडियो हाउ वी कैन कॉल पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को पायलट एंड दिस इज अंडर को पायलट ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज सो फ्रेंड्स इन लास्ट वीडियो आई क्रिएटेड एयर इंडिया को पायलट फॉर डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड इन दैट वीडियो वी क्रिएट अ सिंपल को पायलट हाउ वी कैन बुक अ फ्लाइट यूजिंग को पायलट so in this video i will demonstrate how we will create power automate flow and connect with copilot so let's start i will open our created copilot and you can see under topics we have a topic flight booking and i will open that particular topic so let me do some simple changes here so my friend here after uh, getting all those three inputs from user what we will do is we will call power automate flow why because even though you are working on a on a real project at that time when you are taking input in, you need to call a particular flow or you need to call uh, connect with any third party application and in that case we can connect using power automate for example you have your airline database somewhere in a third party application or using api so once you will receive all those inputs from customer you can call a power automate flow and under that particular flow you can either call api or you can connect with any kind of database so for that for that purpose i will create a flow here so i will go i will click on plus button here and then my friend you can see we have multiple options and under call and action you will click here and that is where you can get a option create a flow so i will click on this create a flow so you can see by default you will get a kind of receiver and uh, like respond and how we will initiate this particular flow so this is little bit different from any other flow because when we are creating a normal flow in power automate we will have uh, normally we have a trigger point and from there we run the flow but here you can see tr a trigger point is run a flow from copilot and again the output here is a kind of wrapper like whatever we will uh, we will return from this particular flow we will wrap this under respond to copilot and that is what we will receive in copilot so let me add three inputs because that is what we will receive from copilot so i will add a text box so i will add like from location then i will add here to location and date and then date so here i want to have date as a text because whatever we will receive from copilot that is what we will use like we will use expressions here to convert in a date and time format because uh, good to have all those expression and coding kind of things in power automate flow so i have done that now i will add another action i will just use variables so you can receive that value initialize the variable so i will name this variable from location string and value we will take from input then i will add another variable that is to location where to location again i will select string here and in input we will use input from copilot 
and in the same way I will add another variable for date where date and for now I will either have it a string or so for now I will have it as a string and add the date value we are receiving from copilot so now we have three variables and these variables you can use to pass in any api call or you are calling uh, you are connecting with any database or anything these three inputs are required to filter flights and that is what that's why i initialized these variables so you can use in your flow i'm not going to call here any kind of like uh, http call that because that will take time for demonstration i'm just showing that this is how you can connect copilot and uh, do whatever operations you want to do in a flow and after that whatever you are receiving you can return to the copilot so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create another variable and I will just set a flight name, flight number, where flight string, and I will use any flight number here. I will just add that to Pune so this is the flight number that is what I will use here so I will return this flight number as a hard coded from here but as I said you can use any kind of operations in between and whatever output you are getting that is what you can uh, set as a output of this copilot so now I will save this copilot. And now I will publish. So before publishing, one thing you need to remember because here you can see run a flow from copilot. And whenever you are creating a, a flow from copilot, this is the title you will get and that is very hard to identify when you are searching this copilot this flow in copilot so i will name it find here india flight so you can see i named it again i will save and then publish so i published now we will go back We'll go back to the copilot screen and here I will just refresh this screen to see we have updated flows here so we can select the one we created in Power Automate. So it's loading, it will take a few seconds, and after that, I will go here and here we want to add that particular flow so i will click on plus button and then i will go call an action and let me see if we have that particular flow here so you can see flight air uh, flight air india flight so i just find instead of find i typed flight so i will just change i will change it save and then i will publish again and then again i will refresh to have the correct name here so 
so it will take few seconds and now we are ready so let me click on plus button again same process i will go here click and see so now we have find air india air india flight i will select this and you can see all three inputs that is what we have to assign here so all these three variables what we created before that is what we need to assign for example from for from location we created in uh, power automate will assign where from location for two location will will assign where to location and for date we'll use this booking date and again with the details we have here and one more thing we need to do here like in output we'll add here text and flight number number and again i will add that where flight number i will assign and then save and publish so you can see like whatever uh, output we are setting here that is what we can see in copilot so this is how we can connect copilot and power automate so i will go once again here i will refresh it reload So same process you will go here call an action then you will select that particular flow fine but this time you can see you have input options and at the same time you have output option and by default a variable is created and assigned so this is how like whatever inputs you have you ha you have to assign from here and whatever output you are receiving for that you will have a by default variables so i'm just going to assign here and this is already assigned so what we'll do is i will go here in this particular message and use your flight is booked and then your flight number is So I will use flight number and then thanks. So now we will save it and publish it. So might be I can see some problems. We might not able to publish it. Let's see. It's taking time. So just wait for a few seconds till that. If you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel so I can create this kind of video again and again for you. And you will not waste your time watching uh, some other videos you will watch my video as well so you can see like we are getting error type error here why because all those options you can see i selected as a multiple choice and now i am uh, just assigning those multiple choice values as a string and that's why we are uh, getting error so what we can do here is we'll go here click on formula and we'll use uh, for type type cost we'll use text and then under that we'll use that particular variable for example where so we just need to type here because it is under topic and that's why we are not able to get that so when i'm using topic and then i'm able to add it the same thing we need to do for all these other uh, variables again i will use text and then top topic and then the, the two location 
and we'll insert here then again same for date we'll use text and here topic dot booking date so we are able to type cost all these variables in a string and now we can't see error here again we'll save and publish so now it is ready for publish i'm publishing hope this time it will work and then we'll test it so this is how you can call you can create a power automate flow and easily connect with copilot this is quite easy so if you have expertise in power automate you can connect with any third party application when you are creating your copilot so it's taking time just wait for a few seconds after that it will be ready so you can see now it's ready so let's go for testing flight booking so now we have ops on delhi then two location pune then booking date i will just add 2024 and now you can see whatever i am returning from that particular power automate flow that is what we are receiving here here as a in our message so this is how my friend you can create a co-pilot like you can connect co-pilot with power automate flow you can create your inputs and outputs and that is how you can type cost as well the way i did here so hope this video will help you to learn how you can connect these two applications and call any kind of third party application or api using power automate and leverage that feature in copilot so see you in next video till then bye this is sandeep Mishra signing out till we meet again